Make it so. Oh. <laughs> Holy. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Several viewers have asked me to try to shoot a slug that is cube shaped. So we came up with this design, we call it the Borg Bullet. The slug is made out of lead, I actually made a mold and cast it myself. The sides measure half an inch and the slug weighs 8 tenths of an ounce or 24 grams. One of the big problems is a square peg doesn't fit into a round hole very efficiently. As you can see there's a lot of wasted space. But since we are more concerned about the diagonal measurement, that's the largest size cube I can actually fit into a 12 gauge shotgun. I posted a photo of these slugs on my Facebook page last week and it gave me a pretty good idea of what people thought a cube slug would do. Absolutely zero people said it would be accurate. Some people said it would become lodged in the barrel and a couple of people said the gun would actually blow up. Now we will be shooting these through a rifle choke so inside that shot cup which is acting like a sabo is the slug and the edges of the cube are kind of acting like little rails very minimal barrel contact but enough to create a spin at least that's the theory at this point so in your mind how do you think these will perform will we be able to hit the broad side of a barn with them today we're going to be shooting the borg bullet at our first target over here gordy the forg so do you think Gordy can take the rounds or not? Nanu nanu. Nanu nanu. Now people are always saying, yeah, hey, you need to put a laser on your gun because we can't tell what you're aiming at. Well, he's aiming at that little white piece of tape there. And he came extremely close to hitting it. Now the slug is tumbling at a very high rate of speed. But for a 15 to 20 yard shot like that, that's not bad at all. That's, in fact, better than some of the factory slugs that we've shot. So maybe this is just a, a rare fluke. So let's continue on. Now the reason it didn't go through the dummy is because he was wearing a blaster proof vest. He wasn't a dummy after all. Romulan Ale, engage. There was some antimatter in there. This, of course, was another good shot. Nice, accurate, centered shot. The slug went right through this five gallon jug of water and then continued on. Didn't see a whole lot of hydrostatic shock other than just blowing the cap off of it, though. So maybe this is just another case of luck or a fluke. Because a cube slug should not be aerodynamically sound and it certainly should not be accurate. And why hasn't the gun blown up yet? Will Wheaton! <laughs> what do you have there, young cadet? Some Kardashian love fruit. Oh, and lovely. Romulan, Romulan love fruit, excuse me. I thought it was from the Kardashians. Ed Gage! It looks like an earth style watermelon to me. I would say good effect on target, Captain. Now remember, I did that survey last week on Facebook and everyone's prediction was either disaster or just terrible performance. So if you're honest with yourself, you're probably as surprised as we were at the results of these things. Now several of us actually thought these would make a weird sound as they fluttered through the air. So far we haven't heard that. Make it so. <laughs> Holy. Now you've probably seen the experiment where you take a string and tie it on a like a wooden ruler and then spin it through the air and it makes a, a sound, right? And that's kind of what's going on here. The slug hit the lead plate, flattened out, and spun at a high rate, making that sound. But it really wasn't flying very fast. In fact, I was able to track it and see where it landed. Mo mushroomed out a bit. I did hit like, let's see, roundabout. Yeah. Seems to be somewhat accurate, <laughs> amazingly. Interesting. Is that Chakotay? Did you know that he, in real life, he's a professional boxer? Is he really? Yeah. He's about to get rocked right now. He really is. Um, the last, he's also an actor. The last movie was in, um, 
He played himself in the uh, hangover. Cote. Go for it. <laughs> okay, that's not Mike Tyson. I was joking. So we got to ask ourselves, why are these accurate? That's because, first of all, it's made out of lead and it's very dense and it carries a lot of inertia. Also, they are symmetrical and balanced. So in many ways, you can actually compare these to a lead sphere, which is also symmetrical and balanced. And that is why, as odd as it seems, these are accurate. He's, his head's backwards. So I found him like this. Okay. Take him to Dr. McCoy. Oh, yeah. See that? Those you were going marks? for the head, right? I was. <laughs> I actually was. Okay. <clears throat> Try Impressive. Again. Impressive. Impressive. There you have it, folks. A functional cube slug. I don't know if anyone's ever attempted that. I bet they have, but probably won't find anything on YouTube. Now, I wanted to show everyone how I made these slugs. I used this Durham's Rock Hard Putty to make a, a mold, and it held up well to the heat, and me wrapping on it like that. I made a total of 12 slugs, and then cherry picked the best ones that had the fewest flaws and all that. I just wanted to show the people that have donated and supported me on patreon that I'm, I'm using their money for good things i have a very small budget it's all about using your creativity the best you can so that you don't have to spend that much money that's my philosophy once in a while people will offer to send me stuff which is kind of expensive to ship so with patreon we can combine you know everyone's dollar and i can actually buy it on ebay or wherever now the word on the street is that chicks really dig a guy wearing a Tal Floyder Mouse tactical gummy bear t-shirt. And of course you can also get a mug or a phone thingy case thing. When you buy these things you're actually supporting the channel and help us create even better content.